This video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello everyone, Peacemaker episode 7 time. I'm hoping that we find out a little bit about why Mern is against the other ones and then um, some other things, obviously. <laughs> also what the like cow thing is. I want to know what that is. Oh, it's the uh, relative you killed. Do this. Is that white power? Fuck white power. Oh. Means rock and roll forever, tongue kiss hot babes, and smoke pot all day. Yeah! Yeah! Alright motherfuckers, let's go. Bet's right here. Let's go. Let your money talk. Oh shit. Okay, so the dad was making them fight for money. No kicking, no biting, no grabbing. Ah, fuck that. No holes boy! No wonder why he fucking died. There's no rules. Don't be a faggot. Get in there and hit it. I would run out of the ring and punch him in the head. He's doing the worm. Oh, I don't think he's doing the worm. I think he might be doing the dying worm. Key! Key! Motherfucker, Chris may have thrown the punch, but you set it all up. It's your fault more than his. Dumb fuck, you killed your brother! You started it! Do you really wanna, do you really wanna taste it? The intro doesn't hit the same after we just watched a kid die. You misspelled dragging. Dude, Peacemaker can't reach the phone right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay, the TV. It's supposed to be the guy watching our backs. Every police station. Oh yes, the butterflies got all the police precinct, including Steve Buscemi's older brother. Who the fuck's Judo Master? Judo Master is supposed to be there? Fuck it, can't worry about it now. Waller sent you here for this express purpose. Did what? Planted a diary in Peacemaker's trailer. You gotta remember, Leota came from prison, so like, she's an expert at planting evidence. I'm not made for this shit. I don't wanna be here no more. So I'm leaving. You can't just leave. <laughs> not in something like this, you can't just be like, alright, this isn't for me, see ya. Holy fuck, your mother is Amanda Waller? You think I wouldn't do a background check on anyone coming to work with us? <laughs> I like man. He's a great character. Since our weird butterfly brains inherit human memories, he'll know we're here. I didn't realize the butterflies inhabited human memories too. Can you imagine you entered someone like that, took over their body, whatever, and you found out they hated butterflies? You do scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> Fucking leprechaun. He's always got Cheetos. What's the deal with that? That is not a real person. That is an action figure. A dude looked like he escaped off the shelf of aisle three. Got it. That looks pretty fucking sick though. <laughs> Despite how bad the actual guy is, the suit looks awesome. Oh. What was that? Is Eagly okay? Someone check on the America's bloody mascot. Dad? Oh fuck. That's right, he's gonna try and kill his son. There's no wrong time to rock. I didn't hear anything he just said. That was mumbled. No! No, no, no! Dude, fuck your dad, man. Get the fuck away from me! Oh man, <laughs> this is the wrong type of hood. How the fuck did he find you? He's my dad, he will always know where I am. You left your keys in the car. <laughs> what? You're an asshole. So what do you want to do now? Where'd the leprechaun go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Don't let me gold! You're taking me lucky charms! <laughs> That? His war cry is brilliant. <laughs> he even used the back of the chips to wipe the glass off the seat. The attention to detail in this show is crazy. Uh oh. Shut the blinds. They might not see you there. I know you're pissed. He's right down there. You're gonna kill Rocket Raccoon like this? I'm actually surprised Eagly didn't go for the raccoon for lunch. He hasn't eaten anything today. No 
That has to be the smoothest crash anyone has ever had. I'm proud to have had you on my team. No! How do you know about the cow? Okay, he's good. He's just been interrogated. No! Are you fucking kidding me just when I start liking him? Get away, little man! Fly! No! No, please! That was so mean! That has almost ruined my day. Just then. I'm not crying over a fucking butterfly, man. <laughs> it's a fucking insect. <laughs> Are you kidding? Ding dong, bitches. Fuck off, you green little bitch. Can't you see we're mourning? Oh man, that was a fucking butterfly. I have, I have mental issues. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay, the choreography in this fight is insane. I think you got him. Yeah, Judo Master looks like what would happen if you tried to make a superhero out of Play Doh. Fuck me. I'm actually surprised he didn't just kill the animal. Eagly's trying to taste what you had for lunch. <laughs> How did they find you guys anyway? He put a GPS tracking device in Peacemaker's helmet. I didn't know. I thought they were expensive. Dude! Vigilante, man! Come on, use your brain! Oh, Eagly, get back in the car. John, can you get him in the car? Eagly, please get in the car. Oh, he said no. Fuck, these are bird ships. Uh, I would if I had a bird. <laughs> you don't really want to see the hoods coming out of the woods. No. Don't worry, dude. They're after Peacemaker. You're just another regular white guy. You're perfectly safe. Why the fuck are your pants all the way down? Well, I can't pee when clothes are touching my butt. I remember when uh, peeing with your pants fully down was a thing for some reason. <laughs> Get him, Eagly! No. No, we are not doing that. All right, we've already killed a butterfly today. Get him, Eagly! Fuck him up! <gasps> no! <laughs> Please tell me he's okay! I'll kill you, motherfucker! You think so? <laughs> oh, is Eagly okay? Oh my god, he's not moving. God challenged me, but I was too weak to listen. Fuck you. I knew you was unclean when you were born. Do you imagine if Peacemaker's dad found out he was like gay or something? He'd fucking have a stroke. I knew when you shaved your body like a woman. I knew when you slept with the whores of polluted blood. The gaps in the armor, man. <laughs> <That's a laughs> he said that when he first saw the suit. That is a great throwback. Chris, now's your time, please. He's your dad, but come on, man, he really isn't. You killed my brother. Exactly. And you're only right about one thing. I am a piece of shit. Piece of shit for listening to you for all those years. Whoa, this is brutal. Oh my god. Go ahead and do it, you fucking pussy. Come on, man. You'll never be able to get the fuck away from me. Oh, fuck. Shit. I am so sorry you had to do that. Tender, nice touching. <laughs> hey, dude, that's creepy. I would almost say that Vigilante is a socially awkward butterfly. <laughs> what was your job before this? I ran a dog shelter. That is such a cooler job than what you are doing now. You might have even looked after Peacemaker's dad at that old job. <laughs> Well, Leota's girlfriend or wife has not mattered in this series at all, has she? We need every hand on deck to try to go kill this cow. How? You can't say the word cow and then rhyme it with how. That's just, <laughs> can't do that. Besides killing this veterinarian, this nurse, and this male nurse. You could just say two nurses, man. It must be weird waking up every day and being a male nurse. <laughs> what are you 
doing? Do we really have to kill these people? No, they need to attend to the sick puppies and kitties in the back. Like that one. They've seen our faces. If we can't stop the butterflies today, it won't matter. The veterinarian's like, butterflies? We can help them out. What's wrong with them? Are they sick? Do they need some training? For what, Alex? For what? So you're compassionate about tape, but not brutally murdering people? Yes. At least he's honest. I never should have left him in my father's garage for four years when I went to prison. Don't do this, James Gunn. Don't do this. Probably because I was getting out of prison. I didn't want to anyway. It wouldn't even been a chore. You're talking to a light globe. That was a bad friend, Eagly. The only one besides Keith that ever loved me for real. Come on, man. It's a CGI bird. It's a, come on, dude. Just please. Yay! Buddy. Oh. <laughs> Leo's thinking, I've been hit with some anesthetic or something, I swear. I just saw an eagle hug a human. I'd be emailing TMZ any news outlet that would take that story and give me some money. <laughs> hey, we should get a move on killing this cow. Shouldn't talk about Peacemaker's mum like that. How do we do this without Mern? Well, we have someone else that we can trust. Who? Oh, Harcourt. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like... No one in this room is trustworthy. Didn't you watch the Suicide Squad? That's their whole thing. No one trusts one another. They'll do what they can to move the cow out before we get there. It's not an actual cow, is it? It's in a barn as well. Please don't be a cow. Stop making everything so obvious that we don't assume it's the actual thing. We go in there and we kick ass like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. They get slaughtered at the end of that film. There's a freeze frame and we hear a bunch of bullets. That doesn't mean they died. You're too optimistic, man. So are you also thinking at the end of that Harry Potter movie where there's the freeze frame, Harry Potter just got stuck on the broom for the rest of eternity? I'm in. Hashtag me too. I guess. Of course, the one person that would say that is vigilante. Fuck yeah. Let's do this shit. What the fuck? You guys have a nine to five. Stay there and help the dogs and cats. There's no wrong time to rock. There is actually. It's when someone does paper. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That is not a cow. That is a Godzilla creature thing. That you, That's a Mothra. That's what that is. Poor big thing's getting its titties milked. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wish I'd said that. And God knows I'm close to him. Blood. <laughs> that dude on the far right is trying not to laugh so hard. Clean your toes. <laughs> yeah, he's Water. trying not to break Keep character. Away. Keep going a little higher. Extra crispy. Very solid. <laughs> that guy is gonna lose it. That may have just been the best post credits thing I've ever seen, purely because that guy in the back right. <laughs> He stuck out like a thumb that hurts. All right, that was Peacemaker episode seven. You know exactly what time it is. 2.03 p.m. All right, so it's Peacemaker finale time, episode eight. What am I hoping for? Well, Chris's dad is already dead, so bingo. <laughs> the fucking big squishy suck a titty moth thing i don't know obviously i hope they defeat that but as i said it i think in like episode six like this isn't like an event for this little team to take on and that's what i hate about like movies or shows like this where they have an expanded universe but they never have these other characters appear to help them out i don't know i just hate that like cliche of we have a big universe but it's only this small team taking on this massive challenge but we have vigilante so um Shouldn't be an issue. And I'm hoping for a good conclusion as well, obviously. I think that's given with any, like, finale. Uh, I don't see Milo on that star client's wall, guys. We need to fix that up. <laughs> what the fuck? This is why they're friends. What are you gonna say? I was saying... I am just trying... And I just thought you were my fucking friend! Verbally shitting in her mouth? Sorry, he's gonna cut it. Cut it! <laughs> Dude, we're off it. <laughs> When my brother died, I made a vow. Right, the vow. Anyone I'd kill, I'd kill for peace. Hi, Milo. Have you got your colour on? Look who arrived as soon as I was talking about being a star client. Look who's here! Are you a star client? You're my star. <laughs> Do it back. That's my cat, um, catty. Make a move extreme. Shortcut to your dreams. 
straight to the stars on that flying thing. Get high, get a snow blind game. Make a tune, chick a poon in the world beyond. Got a beat, got a heat on the phone. It's once the magic starts. What's going on, boss? Come down. We did so good, Eagly. Woo, go us. You misspelt now. Mom, there are way more butterflies than we thought. Maybe you could call in the Justice League. I fucking said that in episode six, didn't I? This is not a small team event. That would be pretty wild if that happened, but it would never happen. Warner Brothers wouldn't even allow it. How big do you think that thing's butthole is? Don't, don't answer it. We're both girls in the relationship. That's what being a lesbian is. Oh, I thought you were Lebanese. What do these do? This is underwater world. Allows you to breathe underwater. Uh, just buy a snorkel. This one is anti-gravity. Allows you to float. That's sick. Human torpedo. To aim your head at whatever you want to destroy and you become a human torpedo. Kim Jong-un is going to give you a call about that specific helmet. Activate anti-gravity and just float it over there. Uh, guys? Tiny hand fan, but you- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Deactivate anti-gravity! <laughs> well, I didn't just kill the only man who knows how to make it. If you're gonna be sarcastic, you should really warn people so there's no confusion. What? <laughs> really? That defeats the whole purpose of sarcasm. A green Arrow. That dude goes to brony conventions dressed in the back half of Twilight Sparkle with a four inch wide butthole drilled in the costume. An Aquaman fucking fish. No, he doesn't fuck fish. With, there's no way. And also Green Arrow does have that in the back of his suit because he teamed up with the CW's Flash. No way can an eagle understand what you're saying. Oh, Eagly's no ordinary eagle. He's a bald eagle. Eagly, take it. No, Eagly, just fuck. Take, okay, take but he doesn't understand. Good, Eagly, good. Good boy. Hey, there we go. Go eagerly. Activate Sonic Boom. <laughs> Just blow the bird up. What? No, go back. Shit. Fuck, I thought he had it. I was so happy. His biggest flaw is that he commonly overestimates Eagly's abilities. Remember, if you're going to be sarcastic, you need to say, I'm going to be sarcastic beforehand. It's like saying, hey, eat some more ice cream. It'll actually be good for your figure. I'm being sarcastic. Why do I care if you saw ants? Because the circle of life, bro. How are ants a more important part of the circle of life than like fish? Well, how can I be in this conversation? I want to be a part of this conversation. I do think he has a point though. I think ants are a very important part of the circle of life. I think. I, I've never spoken to an ant. Hey, Anthony, I'm um, just wondering why are you guys so important in the insect world? Thought you could lose me by killing me, boy? What the fuck? I'm in your head. Okay, damn it. And I ain't going nowhere. Fucking hell, I thought we were safe. Couldn't even avoid him for 20 minutes. The only way for us to get the helmet inside of the barn is by one of us going in undercover. Do you look away? Happily. Mate, I don't even think you need to ask. I think everyone would have willingly turned to Ray when you got dressed. That didn't make- I stuffed up a word then. Remain calm. Head towards the barn like you know what you're doing. Where are you going? I'm going inside. Why? Because I'm going to blow this whole operation up. Because of this bag? What the fuck does that mean? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. What? <laughs> what? How the fuck did that work? Exactly. How did that work? Stairs, and an elevator. You head down the stairwell. Of course. We just need you to place the helmet down as low as possible. Wouldn't you just like throw the bag over the side or something? Well, that's probably really dumb. That's why I'm not part of this team. Oh. It is getting its titties milked. Ew! <laughs> Ew! What the fuck? I thought it was sitting up and not being held up like that. Fuck it. No more kaijus. No. That's what they're called, kaijus. What do I call them? Godzilla monster freak things? It's a motherfucking caterpillar the size of the Empire State Building. The man you've taken over, why did he do that to his beard? Because he thought it looked cool? He never had a girlfriend, so he thought dyeing his beard might help. Oh, we're even getting the backstory to the dyed beard. He never thought anybody noticed until recently. Oh. When one guy 
I said it to him all the time. So he finally felt like he was getting noticed. Damn, the fucking attention to detail in these characters is brilliant. Humans can be really pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> that guy just put this down here. Oh no! Fuck! Say the words! Do it. Activate sound of How'd you drop that? Oh no, come on, no! <laughs> Oh fuck! Shit! No. Yeah, that guy is totally okay. Not? Oh, that's perfect. They're running back to the barn. Three, two, one, go! Say it! That's fucking wild. That is the most dangerous helmet, surely. Yeah, that's it for the charges. Oh, shit! I like the shield! That looks good! What's the plan, man? Let's go kill a cow. Nah! Hell yes! Using the opening theme as, like, the final battle theme is brilliant. Uses Are you gonna throw the shield? <laughs> Captain America?! <laughs> Holy fuck, vigilante. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is good. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh no, fuck. Turn around. Yep. Don't fuck with my BFF. Yep. He said it. No. Ah, oh, darn it. No way. No, I'm not feeling it anymore, guys. I'm uh, not feeling it. Stop. Oh, I hate the change of the song. I get why they're doing it, too. Ugh, that's giving me a really eerie feeling. What's happening? I can't see. Hardcore is down. I did not expect that at all. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Fuck, he's out, too? Come on. Damn, Leota, you've been fucking playing Call of Duty or some shit. Okay, it's kind of a boss move to have her, like, be the one that's gonna take down the big... I don't even know what it's called. Where's that anti-gravity helmet at currently? Jupiter? Saturn? <laughs> Damn, that moth knows how to fight. That was an awesome shot. Activate human torpedo! Yes! No! <laughs> Fuck, are you kidding me? I have no reason to hurt you. Follow me. Oh, she's helping. Yeah, you're gonna have a massive headache after just headbutting that rock. Fuck, that's something I would have said. God damn it. Why didn't I think of that? You murdered innocent people all over the country by taking them over in your dipshit quest for power. We're not doing this for power. We're doing it because we took a vow. Hmm? Our kind traveled here from a planet that had become unlivable. So we're just trying to live. We realized the people of Earth were on the exact same trajectory as our people had been. Valuing profit over survival. Treating minor inconveniences as assaults on your freedom. So the moths were actually making politicians smarter. We made a vow to make the choices for you that you were incapable of making on your own. Legit. Yep, that's what they were doing. But you're one of us. Christopher Smith. Now I don't know whose side I'm on! <laughs> Fuck, what a twist! Jesus, I did not expect that. That's exactly what Chris's character is. I tried telling you yesterday. In the jar. That woman fit in a jar? I know, she was a moth then. Goth, the moth. Join us in saving your planet. Activate human torpedo. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Goth. Peacemaker really said then, fuck, I can't bring myself to say it. Peacemaker really said then, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I butterfly. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for that one, okay? How did this little team do all of this? That's what I mean, I have such a problem with stuff like this. 
Hey guys, what's up? Oh, vigilante. Okay, thank God. There has to be one fatality, right? Yeah, there has to be one fatality. I reckon it might be Harcourt. She got promoted and then fucking died. Holy fucking shit. Is that actually them? You're late, you fucking dickheads. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, it is! Go fuck another fish, asshole! I'm so fucking sick of that rumor. It's not a rumor. It's not a rumor. You fuck a tuna. Oh, there you go. Fuck you, Barry. Wow, I want to hear Aquaman say more, fuck you. That is not actually Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot, though. They are stand-ins. But I can't believe they got the Avengers. The irony of Barry Allen being late to something is... <laughs> Something I never thought would be possible. How the fuck are you going to do a cameo like that and then take us back to a hospital? I don't care about that. Take me back to where we just were. I'm fine, seriously. All I need is a good nap. He's going to fall. He's going to pass out. Yep. <laughs> Definitely getting admitted. I just... I fucking said all that shit in episode 6. I... Did I just... I can't believe they actually did that. What the... Even though that was a stand-in, that was definitely implied to be Cavill's Superman. Does that mean that that's still canon? Batman wasn't there. Obviously because um, he was hiding behind a rock or something. The irony there as well being we could see John Cena but not Batman. Okay. <laughs> After Eagly. You're my BFF. Aww. I can't remember what the actress's name is, but she has been really fucking good in this series. I had my doubts. I thought she was just typecast from Orange is the New Black, but she was surprisingly good in this. Probably actually one of the standouts. And Vigilante, of course. He knock out of the park. Christopher Smith never wrote any diary called Project Butterfly. Dude, you can't... You can't just walk out of a hospital like that, especially a hospital window. It's been running for years out of Bell Reef Prison. The command of Amanda Waller. Oh shit. She's not your mum anymore. What the hell are they gonna do with the Suicide Squad 2? If they're like exposing Argus and the Suicide Squad program like that. Yeah, she's been out there for days. Yeah, well, you've been asleep for weeks. Great character development. I really appreciate that, especially given how those two interacted at the start. Who's this character? <laughs> the dogs in clothes! Oh, I love that. What a great little conclusion for that character. Even this little fucking green little stick, I liked him. And his Cheetos. Man loves his Cheetos that much he's crying. <laughs> Vigilante and Peacemaker are legitimately 12 year olds in like 40 year old bodies. <laughs> huh? We can't leave one alone. Wait, which one is that? Oh, it's Goff. <laughs> Fuck man, I'm not, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm welling. What's the word? <laughs> you, you have that drink, man. You have all of it. Skull the whole thing. Oh, wow. What a fucking conclusion. I've, I've, I was worried he was going to fly at the camera or something. Damn, that was... Yeah, I fucking love that. That was great. That might be one of the best finales I've seen in a while. What's our post-credits thing? I'm about to be sarcastic. Okay? You're not fat at all. I'm either the die beer guy at Cosmos or whatever his name is, or I'm Vigilante. I'm one of those two. I'm a mix, honestly. I have Vigilante's brain, and then I have fucking die beard's die beard. And I'm not worried that you're gonna die. But I, I am worried that you're gonna die. Thanks. The, <laughs> those post credits thing is 100% just bits that didn't make it into the show. Okay, so that was Peacemaker Episode 8, the finale of the season. So, uh, I have seen it's been greenlit for Season 2, and um, I'm very happy about that. That was such a good show. You don't need 23 episodes in a season to do something with it. You Simply 8 is enough. I didn't expect to like that show as much as I have. However, I'm not looking forward to editing this. There is 9 hours of content I'm going to have to go through now, so... There's definitely going to be bits that I've edited out that if you've watched the show, you'll be like, oh, you missed this bit. Just 
I'm saving myself some time. What I'm gonna say next is you should definitely go and watch this in your own time. There's parts I've left out and it's 100% worth watching fully. Yeah, damn, James Gunn, he is the dude for superhero shenanigans. I don't normally do ratings for shows like this, um, but I will just say, just watch it. That's all I'll say. That's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, I'm actually going to go and watch Uncharted now. Thank you so much for watching it. If you did, please do leave a big like or a little like depending on your thumb size. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, what is that? I will see you all in the next video that is on my channel.